What's going on guys, Firewolf Tech here, showing you guys the Samsung 990 Pro with the heatsink. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you guys all around. And I'm gonna be installing this to my motherboard. So let's see how that goes. Now this is gonna be in the two terabyte configuration, which I find to be the best value. All right in the box, we get this nice little booklet over here. And inside we have the 990 Pro. Looks absolutely beautiful. And again, this comes with the heatsink attachment. So this is gonna be perfect for your PlayStation 5, or you can stick it directly to the motherboard without having to use the slot covers on your motherboard. And I just decided to go with the heatsink just so I can see on my motherboard. So I think it'll look pretty cool. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. All right, so here's my gaming PC. I will list all the parts down in the description box below. Now my motherboard has three slots and I'm already using the first slot for a two terabyte Samsung 980. And I was going to use the second slot. However, my 49 takes up a lot of space and I wanna make this installation easier for me. So I'm gonna use the third socket. Now on my motherboard, the third socket kind of shares bandwidth with another PCIe slot and it's not directly connected to the processor. So I do know I'm making some sacrifices and speeds, but I'm just using this more for extra storage anyways. And I'm interested to see what speeds I'll get on the third socket. Now removing the back plate on the third slot is very simple and easy, just two screws, very easy to take out. Now the Samsung 990 already comes with a heatsink, so I don't really have to use this anymore. It's not gonna fit anyways. But if your 990 does not have a heatsink, then you have to use this obviously because it has a thermal pad itself. All right, so installing the 990 is pretty simple. Just wanna be very careful when you're connecting the pins, just kind of angle it a little bit. And depending on the motherboard, you may have to screw it in place. But my motherboard has these little tabs here, which makes it even easier to install. So all I have to do really is push it down and kind of just switch the tab and it locks the SSD in place. Your motherboard, you may have to kind of use a screw and just basically just screw it in place. And that's pretty much it. That's the beauty of having an SSD with a heatsink is that I don't have to then take that plate and line it up again. And to be honest, on the, my 980 on the top, it was definitely hard to kind of position it. So I'm glad that this heatsink makes it way easier to install it. And I didn't have to take out my 4090, which is great. Now, these are some benchmarks that I got from Discmark. And you can see here, I'm pretty impressed with the read write speeds that I'm getting with the 990 Pro, even though it's on a third socket. Now I do know if I had it placed on the first or second socket, I would have way better performance. And I highly recommend downloading Samsung Magician software here. And one surprising thing is that you can actually change the LED on the 990 Pro itself. There's like a really small LED light strip in the middle of this SSD. And I'm pretty surprised. And obviously if you had the 990 without the heatsink, you wouldn't have this option, of course. So this is only for the heatsink. Now, taking a look at the performance benchmark, on the left, I have the 980 Pro. On the right, I have the 990 Pro. And I'm actually pretty surprised here. You can see that the 990 Pro has really consistent sequential read and write speeds, a little bit slower than the 980 on the read part portion of it, but the read and write is still very steady and the random read and random write is way faster than my 980. And it's also running a lot cooler at 34 degrees Celsius versus 48. Now, I've had it for a week now and it's still running way cooler than the 980 Pro. I'm not sure if it's because it's on a third socket and not directly connected to the processor, but so far it's running way cooler. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching guys.